Hello, my name is Chica. Welcome to a new game demo called Wild Flowers. It's a very cute life sim farming game um, with a little bit of cuteness and magic and everything else. Well, it looks very cute at least. And I can't wait to play uh, such a peaceful game again, you know, after uh, a lot of demo. Well, let's try it out. Is this me? Excuse me, would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. Well, here I am. Oh, it's practicing Tai Chi. Oh, I am sure Hazel can't wait to see you again. Just head up the stairs and take a left. Okay. You don't have to come to me, you know? See? It's oh my interesting. gosh, you gotta be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. Anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Oh yeah, of course. Hello. Hey, bro. Hey, but uh... Sis. I I'm not a bro. Uh, my name's Kai. Check it out. This is my kiosk. I'm here, you know, whenever. It's like uh, a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off island. Take a look, but like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment. You know? Okay. Kai Hoapili. Hoapiti? Let's go around before I go up. Hello, I don't think I've seen you before. I run Cafe Moretti, the diner in town. Stop by any time. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm new here. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. Uh, welcome. I hope you come by soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. I think I've gotten a bit turned around. Do you know the way to my Grandma Hazel's house? Oh, of course. It's back the way you came, then behind the statues, head up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, turn left and keep walking till you get to your Grandma's house. Okay. 
All right, fine. I think I'm not at the top. All right, fine. I'll go up. It looks so sweet, though. Look at all this place. It's so cool. Uh. I'm sorry, whoever you are. My open hours are 9 to 5 on weekdays at the town hall. You can speak to me there. Okay. You don't want to speak to me now? What? Mm. You sign something? <gasps> oh, I thought it was a kitty. Who are you, maybe? Hey, I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. I think I've gotten a bit turned around. Do you know the way to my Grandma Hazel's house? You're nearly there. It's just down that dirt path, opposite the giant bell. This way? Oh, who are you? Ah, hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wild, granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Or... Oh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. Okay, thank you. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a shop. All right, thank you. I think it's this way. See, it looks so cozy. Blasted, rusty old crank. Huh. I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. <laughs> Look at it go. Uh, nice. Grandma? Oh, it's you. Oh, my little honeybee. <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about. Okay. Plant the potato seed in the garden by the farm. Cute. So cute. So cute. You're natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. What an old You can fill water. it up at this old well. Yeah. Plants need to be watered every day to grow. Fill up the watering can as well. Whoa, that's fast. There now, that should do it. They'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, okay. we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, 
It might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, here I am, farming. <laughs> this place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. Wait for your potato plant to produce potatoes. Okay, grandma wants mushroom. Meet mayor in the town hall in the center of the town. Okay. Na, 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 na. Up there, I believe. I'm going, Grandma. Hey, I remember this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. Ooh, mushrooms. I think that's all we can get. I wonder what's up there, up the, up the, okay. Uh, off limit. Okay, let's go talk to grandma. Oh, let's talk to mayor first, in case the grandma will trigger more weird stuff. gonna be my new home Let's go talk to Mayor. Ooh, jewelry store. It's a bakery. I have to go. I have to run yes, to. I... Excuse me. Oops. Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's obvious. My little claim to fame. No way. Uh. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter. I mean, neighbor. Uh, hi, uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. Hi. So a few more. Oh, bulletin. All right. Let's see. Is it open? Violet. All right. Oh, is this a school? Oh, yes. You don't have to Hello. climb up. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Nina. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. 
I'm Finn. Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I, I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Nice. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... well... To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Alright. That's five in the same place. Oh! Oh my god! That is unexpected. New person! Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. Ah, you must be Hazel's granddaughter. It sure is great to meet you. I'm Parker, Lena's husband. She asked me to stop by your farm in a day or two and show you around. You'll want to know where Lena's general store is. It's hard to run a farm without it. I'll be by before you know it to point it out to you. Okay, thank you. <gasps> Mushroom! Mandrake. Oh, is that something we can pick too? Hmm. There's a plaque that reads, This beloved tree be old as the town itself. Okay. Who might live? Ooh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tara. Wait. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. No. Oh. Shall be the mentor. believe there is a kitty here. No, I thought I can just jump, climb up or so. Oh, who are you? Might be. Welcome to the island. I am messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Ooh. Museum? Who could you be? Who might you be? All right. A church, maybe? Do you 
ask every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes. After all, that idea won me third place in the icebreaker innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations. Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. Okay. Hmm. So many people died here. Ooh, restaurant. They closed already? There's somebody here. I think I already talked to him before. I just couldn't talk to him yet. Uh, I think this is the general the general store. No, I can't talk to them. Oh wait, there's a lot of people here. Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Oh, thanks. Awesome. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh. So what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Are you a girl? Sociopaths on dating apps? Both, to be honest. Everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Ah, uh, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. They're on the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island. But we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Okay. Guess I got them both. The map is not big, but they are quite some time to move around because of the slow running. And it looks like there's a lot of things to do in this in this game. I can't wait to uh, to to have it like fully released. Right, I need to go to, to my grandma. Totally forgot, I'm sorry grandma. She is starving because of me. Oh? Oh no, it's nine. Grandma, I'm sorry, I'm home. Ah, spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. Of course. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. All right. Potato. Keep watering. All right, all right. Love you too, Grandma. Is this my room or is this my room? This is Grandma room. 
It's just a broom. It's just Wow. She can she can fly, then it I better not just yet. Right. Okay, there's two more places we haven't go to. Oh, am I ready for bed? A photo of Ta da! Oh, I thought you were a good person. brought us some extra milk while you were out so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies and you're you're sure it had the right number of uh, gills or whatever we're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth oh no if I gave you something that made you see things it'd be on purpose uh, grandma <laughs> I'm just kidding honeybee now I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Oh, you'll need this to get started. Oh, yeah. I need chop blocks and wood. If you Okay. Oh wait, I need to talk to it. <sighs> I just love the peace here. Me too. I guess that's why I've never moved anywhere else. Do you think that's strange? No, Grandma. I think it's peaceful here too. Well, maybe we're both strange. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. Okay, Grandma. I was just trying to do that. You should. Okay. Mm, I can make more. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't really know what to do with this. Hello. It's me, Parker, again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself 10 years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Okay. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. Can I can I talk to you first? What do you think? I'm okay. Can I chop the tree now? I mean the wood now? No, I just need wood. Oh, this one. Perfect. That's my uh, not health uh, stamina. That's so little. All right. I guess that's all I should do.
I have not been here yet. Oh wait, I have? So, I run the flower shop here in town if you ever need anything. <laughs> wow, it's such a coincidence with you being named Vi Yeah, yeah, Violet. A flower, it's hilarious. <laughs> Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I can set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? 16. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? <laughs> Wait, how many more do I need? Uh, three more. Mini Hazel, still here, I see. You can call me Tara if you want, because that's my name. Ah, uh, I kind of like Mini Hazel, but suit yourself. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but, uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately. But I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah! She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? Hmm? Can I talk to you? Talk to you. Hello. Who might you be? Oh, just who I was hoping to see. Who? Me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. Nonsense. Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. A devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love. But I also bake to win. Okay. I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. Yeah. Hola. Hey, new girl. How's farm life treating you so far? I'm still figuring everything out. Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one ah. thing. But sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. So that's why it's never open. It's so like cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last stoner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. All right, that's all. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again! <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. Oh, yeah? So what do you act? Uh, uh, coffee bean, green bean, co green bean seed. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's get three of this. Then I can get like four of this. Because why not? Thank you. Bye. Ooh, sausage. 
If you decide to go into ranching, you can sell me any animals you have. I'll give you cash and some of the meat. Uh... Oh, I guess it's tough coming from the city to learn how the sausage is made. Yeah, uh, where I come from, it's, uh, it's not talked about so much. I understand. There's lots of stuff we don't talk about in the open here, too. Like what? I have to get back to work. Okay. Let's see, where's everyone else? Everybody else. It is very peaceful here. <gasps> hey, Kitty! Hello! Oh, such a pretty girl. It's a girl. What's your name? Strange kid. <laughs> so cute. There's only one cat here. Poor lonely cat. Oh, what is this? Seaweed. Why is it so far? Oh, there's some somebody here. Hello! Hi! I'm Tara, Hazel Wild's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes! And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean... Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Okay. Can you be less aggressive? Oh, his name Lightfoot. Oops. Um. Ooh, a ranch for sale. Look at this old rundown ranch. Um. Okay. So I think I can go somewhere. I only need like two more people. One more, actually. Who? Would it be you? I Yo. don't patronize me, Missy. You bring me forageables, and I... I don't mind helping you out. You don't... <laughs> I'm a hermit, not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. Attack? Don't... Okay, okay. I need to talk to whoever earlier that passed me. Is this one? Who are you? I don't remember you anymore. Who haven't I met? Uh, can I actually see... Is it Jay? Oh. Who? Kitty! Yes, last person. And who is this beautiful creature I see? I, uh, what, uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow, thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Okay. There you go. Lost. 
Now let's get this one as well and put it. I just need to talk to the mayor. Let's talk to these little girls and boys and kids. Hey, so my mom says your grandma's sick and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick too. Well, technically she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. Hey? Hazel is a dope old lady. You're lucky having a grandma like that. What? Not a big fan of your own grandparents? Um, my mom's parents died when I was little. And my dad's parents can't visit much because of visa problems. Oh. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Nah, it's, it's cool. Hazel's the communal grandma. Nice. Anybody? No. Hello. Who are you? Good to see you again. Hi. Have you seen the notice board in front of Town Hall? There are always lots of ways to help out in the community. Mm, yeah, oh, I did. Yes, I saw it. Wonderful. I'm sure your neighbors will appreciate you lending a hand whenever you can. What is this? Oh. Let's see. Let's Messenger talk to you first. Connor told me you said hello. I'm so pleased you two spoke. The building he transformed into the consciousness center was a real eyesore. And look at it now. He's a shining example of how to change a community for the better. Uh -huh. Wonderful. The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. As promised, here is your reward for playing our little game. We hope it helped you Ooh. acclimatize. Uh, thanks. Uh, money's great too, though. Thank you. If you ever have extra baked goods to sell, let me know. I'm always happy to mix things up for my customers. Hi. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Where should I go? Grandma. Right. I need to chop a few more trees so I can plant more stuff. And grandma. Let's see. It's this one. I can't. I can't even chop them. I can. I can chop these though. <laughs> Right, I can't do it anymore. But it's almost night time, which is great. Mm. Let's build. Ah, I need compost bin. Wait, what is a compost bin for? Uh, turn wheat into soil. Alright. Uh. Uh, build menu? Okay. Oh, right. I can put it here, I guess. Whatever. Uh, I need two, alright. 24. Uh, let's plant a green bean. <laughs> it takes four days. Now I can talk to my granny. Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I oh, made Oh, thank you. It'll fix you right up. Okay. But, uh... Ready? 
Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. <sighs> Apple? How original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. Thank you. Extra food. Can I sleep now? Am I ready for bed? Yes. Ooh, we're in a stay. <laughs> oh no, Grandma. Oh, are your allergies acting up? Oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room. But sweeping makes my back ache. So I've turned a blind eye for no months now. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Then, would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? There's a broom in my room you can use. You wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa! Is that an actual trap door? Jeez, Grandma, what are you keeping down there? So, the trapdoor under the rug... Hmm? What is it for? <laughs> Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my age, it's awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you put the rug back in place? Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. Mm, I can already taste that tea. <laughs> that was normal. That's a cute grandma. Okay. Through wood. It's 11 more hours. Taking long. There you go. Now I need to go to the wood. After sunset. Right. So I think it's fine now. Let me just forage this stuff. Big one. There we go. No. Okay, fine. There we go. Not a lot more. Let's go and check around if anything I can pick up. I should go up there as well to check if there is anything for me. I can see something. Taking a long time to run. Mm. 
Let's just talk to everybody. Hello again. Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. Yeah, I know. Well, my great-grandpa was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course, he died before I was born, but it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah, I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. Let's see what you have. Oh. Uh, hmm. I just need a lot of copper ingot, but in order to get copper ingot, I need to open up the mine. Have you met my boo yet? His shop is right next door. That is so nice. You must never get sick of each other, since you live and work so close together. <laughs> nope. Why, did he say something like that? I mean, Francis does like his quiet time. Francis? Go boo? Who? This one? Oh! It's open! Hey, if you ever feel like your blood sugar is running low, hit up my fiancé's bakery. His croissants are divine. A little too divine. I'm very lucky I have a fast metabolism. Heh <laughs> Better not. How's your father doing, Tara? Dad? <gasps> oh, right. You know him. I almost forgot. He used to babysit me since both my parents worked. I was very sorry to hear about his falling out with your grandmother. Yep, yep. Uh, I think I can... Give him. And give them. Uh... Hmm... Oh, I need one more, and this one needs... This one is Parker. Ooh, which one is Parker? Parker... He's supposed to be... Linus? Hey, Violet! Can I ask you about Marisoft's getting to know you game? It's so creepy, right? My dad totally didn't make people do that when he was mayor. Otto made a lot of changes since he took office, but... He's mayor at least until this fall. For better or worse. Very nice. Oh, so there's you another kid. here to take care of your grandma? That's really nice. You sound disappointed. It's just that it's less fun to prank people who are really nice. I could try being less nice. Thanks, but that's okay. Emmy and I already have lots of people to prank. Yeah. Hey, how much do you remember about polynomial factorization? Sebastian, I don't even remember what that is. <laughs> That's what I told Miss Soft when she said I should pay more attention in Algebra 2. Uh, <clears throat> I don't even know what. that. warning, Mom might try to overload you with food. Feeding people is, well, like her love language. Mom says you two were friends when you were little. Well, Lena was older, so she kind of used to babysit me. Oh, like Julia does with us. It's not a bad hustle. She gets paid to play with us. <laughs> so, Otto's getting to know you game. Isn't it charming? Oh, I wish we could do something like that in Milkwater, but there's far too many people for it to be practical. That's why I love living in a small town. Cool. And mm, whose workshop is this? Oh, this one, Parker. This is quality stuff. I don't know how I'll make it up to you, Tara. Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's go down there and get other people first. 
It's still 1 p.m. so I think it's fine. I need to look for the kitty. How's the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not that much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing, becoming run down. And caring for them takes a lot of time. Yep, agreed. This is the homiest diner I have ever been in. Do you run it all by yourself? Oh, I've always been the only owner. Though my husband Giacomo used to help me. He passed two years ago. Pancreatic cancer. Oh, Sophia, I, I didn't know. Hazel was so sweet to me. She knew what it felt like on account of your Nano's passing. Okay. Is this a recipe? My first cookbook. Hey, have you tried Kim's Butcher Shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. So, what's your favorite wave you have ever surfed? Brah, that's like asking me to pick my favorite child. But Pavones in Costa Rica is like the longest longboard wave. It just goes on forever. Pure bliss, man. Nice. Oh, wait. I don't want to. There we go. And there's Pachinko. Oh, cannot play. Who are you? What you doing? What you want? Your grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. But how can you see fish if they're underwater? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes? Here, take this rod. Keep your eyes peeled whenever you're near water for the shadows of swimming fish. When you see them near the surface like that, you know they're feeding. Trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Hey, you're not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one, and then you reel it in. Wait, 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 back up. How do I cast my line? You'll get the hang of it. The lake in the forest is a nice place to start. Uh, but take care, you hear? Don't go in those woods after sunset. I've seen things, well, you wouldn't believe me. My boy Otto didn't either till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. Hi. Thank you. If you can't find me at my stall, I'll be by the lake in the forest or the beach. Anywhere I can cast my line. Well, and Damon's pub. But all I catch there is grief from Otto for staying out too late. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, you're close today. You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members. Nice. Hi, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little... More overwhelming than others. <laughs> Thank you. So, you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you know anything about farming? Not even a little bit. Oh, don't sweat it. I'd only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? Not really. Oh. W well, good luck. <laughs> it does. I, ew, girl. I don't know. 
Well, I think it's time to slowly go. He's so. He's walking like so easy going. Hey, I saw it. I saw her dancing. Well, let's go to the forest, I believe. And pick up stuff and fish. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Ah. Vegetable patch. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Peanut? Peanut? Why would you find peanut in this place? There's a lot of trees to chops. What's she doing here? Oh, that's so small. Uh, I need to fish three times. I want to get the big one. <coughs> yeah, huge one. Whoa, a rare catch. Let's go around. Uh, I want to like pick up stuff first. Outer oh, sunset, right? <gasps> Could be this one. shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? Uh, where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Bah. It's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Terra here so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh-oh. Okay. <clears throat> Let me... Uh... Fish? Is there fish here? No. Only the right side. There is an extra fish. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow, I'm dying. first, then grandma. Grandma? Tell me, honeybee, does 
Arthur, mind that you left your job in the city to come help me? Well, I didn't really leave my job. My job left me. Our site got acquired, but the new parent company just wanted our subscriber list, not our editors. Maybe Dad wishes I was using my degree in a new job in the city. But then who would help you here? He's not going to come do farm work. <laughs> That's for certain. Your father has the blackest thumb I've ever known. Even when he was a boy. Oh, we were sad when he left. But the garden sure wasn't. Just grab some food out of your pack and eat it. Oh, then I need to talk to her when we are home. So let's go home. Oh, I'm stuck. So I guess I'm a witch. I don't mind being a witch. I wonder if grandma home yet. Oh. I thought I re I still have a lot of weed. I don't. Uh, I am very tired. Oh, okay. So I can try to eat something you can eat it so I will have finished this quest as well and this one uh, should I wait until she's calm home? okay bed okay bed time. should I go to bed yep See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low, and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But, Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. Oh, okay. I need, I need rice. I need to buy rice instead. Grandma, so, uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma! Oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. Okay. I can't believe you've even managed the farm on your own this long, Grandma. Well... Robert left things in good shape when he passed. And Thomas has been a, a help. More than the help, though, I've missed having company. Alina stops by now and again, but... But it's so nice having you here, honeybee. Okay. Let's see. She wants a... Uh... Pee. Restorative tea. Ta da! Mm. Oh my! Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basement that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? 
Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Okay. I'll check it when I water this stuff. Oh. Ta-da! Now let's go down. Maybe you want to open the rock first. Oh, you literally took the entire carpet. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh, is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron, your cauldron. What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Wait, wait, wait. is Dad a witch or, 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 or warlock or... Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, no, honeybee. He's more conventional. I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall. So you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh... Kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Mm, very nice. All right. Most all Grandma Perfect. says this is my cauldron, but... Okay. Now, what am I going to do? Uh, get the thing and this uh, rice and Shelby. Where can I get Shelby? Oops. Can I jump like this? Yeah. Mm. Hey. Right. Where can I find Shelby? Just in the wood, right? I might as well go. Uh, why nobody here yet? Uh, let's go talk to them. Sophia's half Italian. Did you know that? So her espresso is the real deal. I never thought I would find good coffee on a little island like Fairhaven. It's interesting that they have a very diverse uh, conversation every day. Watch out for Sophia. She likes to play matchmaker and you're too cute to resist setting up. Wait, how did you know I was single? Oh, honey, it's a small town. Yeah, they always have these different conversation. If I, I were you, nice. I wouldn't linger around Shelby's campsite. Why? He doesn't seem dangerous. He isn't, he isn't. But who would choose to live in those woods? Yeah, sure. I place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Bad time? Ugh, no. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor, the fairy always ran on time. Hey. Do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? Thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them, did you hear me say no? The sooner I can give Vanessa out of my hair, the better. I got one. Is David hit on you, or have you not met him? I, um, uh, you're new and cute, so it won't be long if he hasn't yet. <laughs> so, anything I can put in my bouquets? Stress no more, I found just the thing. 
See? They're pretty. Yes. Those will do nicely. <sighs> it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. Oh, yes, tulip pop. Perfect. Bye. Making acquaintances. I think they are friends now. It looks like Violet is really getting to know Tara. Keep an eye of her around the island at different times. Sometimes special might happen. Alright. Let's talk to these kids and the teacher. And we go to Can the I ask you forest. Did your grandma remember who you were when you saw her? Of course. Why? Oh. It's just... My grandpa doesn't remember me when we go visit him. Or sometimes he thinks Emmy is my mom. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> it's just silly. Emmy doesn't even look like my mom. I asked Violet if I should help her out in the store, and she got all offended. The store is like her thing, I guess. Plus, she said I had to focus on school so I could get into a good college. But pro skateboarders don't need college degrees. Watch out for the twins. You're new, and the last person who was new was Cameron. And let's just say there's a reason the Consciousness Center doesn't have the stained glass windows left over from the old church anymore. And that reason may have involved homemade slingshots. Oh? Juliet's, like, always staring at Sebastian. Then, the minute he looks at her, she looks away. Nice. That's a nice So, ghost. what did you do back in the city? I was an editor for an online news magazine. Oh, you were a journalist. Huh. Our little newspaper folded not too long after the mine closed. I think the town is better for it, to be honest. Editorials tend to stir up negative feelings and pit neighbor against neighbor. Fairhaven has been more peaceful without it. Yep. Agreed. Well, we are going to just uh, finish this entire day. And after that, we'll just end the video there. Okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes. Things you can't really explain. We gotta look out for one another. Okay. Uh, let's see, I found another uh, peanut. Uh, what else? Nothing over here. There's nothing here. Oh, I found a mandrake. Oh yeah, finally I found you. How long have you lived first. in Fairhaven, Shelby? Long enough to know I prefer the peace and quiet of the woods to town. I don't mind when your Graham comes for a visit, though. She knows when to take her leave without needing a hint. Oh. Okay. I, um, guess I'll be on my way. Do my eyes deceive me? What a delightful surprise! All right, thank you. Now I need to talk to these three. Uh, let's see. The inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? Oh, I mean, uh, uh, thanks, magic tree. Yeah, basic wand. I got myself a wand. Can I go in already? No. But I should talk to the... Oh, hello. So, how are your parents? Oh, I'm, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Doll. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Okay. 
I just realized he she hasn't be acquaintance with me yet. Hello. You know, there's quite a few of us who moved here from a city. Francis, Kim, Parker, and Messenger Cameron, of course. We're taking over. <laughs> You seem very cosmopolitan. Uh, Amira or, or or Dr. Syed? Oh, gosh. Amira is fine. There's no need for formalities in a town with one restaurant. Fairhaven is by far the smallest place I've ever lived. But I've adjusted, and so will you. I will. Juliet told me you said hello to her. Thank you. That girl is so shy. Well, teenagers have a lot going through their heads. It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. Mm. Her father passing so unexpectedly hasn't helped. Just so you know, if you ever get run down, go see Amira. She fixes me up every time I have a bad wipeout. Jesus Christ. So close now. Wait. Is he still? Oh, he's still here. I thought he left. Uh, let's talk to you. I think Lena's kids must have messed with the doors of the schoolhouse. She sure was at a temper last night. Was muttering something about the locks. Wonderful. You got the look of a lifelong angler in your eyes now. <laughs> oh, now here's a real challenge. Catching a certain fish is about the right bait, the right place, and luck. I got a hankering for some nice, fresh striped sea bass. They're ocean fish, so you gotta go to the beach. They might go for a worm, but you'll have better luck with this. In the future, you can keep nice. bait fish you catch to try and hook bigger and more valuable fish. Come back when you caught one. Thank you. It's cool that you're helping Hazel with the farm. Are you, uh, planning to take it over one day? I still don't even know if I can make a single seed sprout. <laughs> Give it time. When my pa ran the bar, I used to make a mess every time I tried to help out. And look at me now. Cool. Uh, I, I think I couldn't get the, the rice anymore. I like Hazel. She reminds me of my grandmother. When I came out, my dad had a hard time with it. Obasan told him to get over himself. <laughs> <sighs> I really miss her. Let's go to the beach. I think I couldn't just anywhere uh, fish. <gasps> Kitty's here. Oh, look at the head scratches. Yes. He's very close. Mm, where did you go? Where do we get this one? A chop? Get me a big one. I didn't know which one is a sea bus. Oh, I think I think we got it. Okay. Uh, let's get this stuff. Is that a thistle? Which weed? Which weed? Okay. Uh, this one is the lighthouse. Down here should be the beach area. Then I can pick up these things. Hi, it's me again. 
I've been trying to help out my grandma, but I don't know much about farming at all. Yep. Like I said, not so easy. Hazel's got some of the best soil on the island. Shame for it to go to waste. Look, city girl, just water your plants and you'll do fine. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Uh, there's nothing? Let's get this one. Got it. Sturgeon. Nice. I'm happy now. Goodbye, everybody. I wonder if this water has it too. I think I can get this one too. Nice, another sturgeon. I think I should get the fish thing. I think it's time to just go sleep. I already got this, so I'm just going to talk to Grandma. Grandma? I got it. Is your wand ready? Yes. Look, careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through. So this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. Uh... Okay. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Oh, it worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. Okay, so I guess, I guess that's all. Um, yeah, this is a very fun game. I really enjoy how they make everything so smooth and, and, and cute as well. And that's all, yeah. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to uh, hit the like button and comment down below what do you think about the game. Like, personally, I am very excited about this game, but I'm not sure when they are going to release this game. They're just saying they're going to release it in 2022. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.